incredibly warm welcome and, um, and their gracious invitation to have us at their home tonight. Uh, another really uh, non-picturesque uh, New Hampshire <laughs> moment, right? Uh, we have seen some of the most incredible sights um, just over the last few days. I've obviously had the opportunity to do that over the last number of years. I was saying to a number of you today that um, when you welcome me back to New Hampshire, you know, I started coming here on a regular basis in, in 2011. Uh, when I endorsed Governor Romney. In fact, I was the first governor in America to endorse Mitt Romney, and I did it right here in New Hampshire, um, right before his debate that he had in October of 2011, and was on the Romney campaign from that moment forward. Uh, I spent a lot of time here in New Hampshire campaigning for him during the primary, and then went to 25 other states uh, across the country to campaign for him in 2012. During some of my off time, of campaigning for Governor Romney. I came up here and worked for Ovid LaMontagne when he was running for governor in 2012 and developed a great relationship with him, um, despite the fact that the campaign didn't go the way we wanted it to go. And then back again in 2014 as chairman of the Republican Governors <coughs> Association, um, working hard for Walt Havenstein and making a race that nobody thought was going to be a race when it first started into a really close race. And we certainly scared the heck out of the governor. Um, and it's because of the quality of candidate that Walt Havenstein was. And uh, he and Judy have become very good friends of mine and Mary Pat's over the course of time. And uh, it's so it's been wonderful experiences that I've had here in New Hampshire uh, politically, but it's always different when you come now for yourself. Um, that's a different thing. I, I had wonderful time speaking and introducing other candidates and giving my endorsement to them and be able to talk to them about all the great things and virtues about that candidate. But now it's time for me to talk to you all about my vision and, and my hopes and aspirations for our country. Uh, it took me a good long time to decide to run for President of the United States. I don't think you should make that kind of decision quickly or easily. Um, I said all along when folks in the press would ask me, you know, how are you going to make this decision? I said, there's three questions you need to ask yourself if you're running for president. Is it good for you? Is it good for your family? And is it good for the country?